Hey guys, it's been Pegasus is here and I'm back with more Supergirl. Uh, I'm excited for this episode because it just seems like every episode just keeps getting better and better and I'm just, I'm really excited because last episode a whole bunch of shit happened. Kara went through a whole bunch of shit and then she got kidnapped by Astra and her Kryptonian goons and, and Alex went through a bunch of shit. And we found out who who who, who Hank was. That his he's actually John Jones, and I love him. And he's space dad. And also, Wynn's probably gonna turn out to be that asshole that's just like, I'm your friend, and I treat you well until you and your friends are me, and I'm gonna be nice on you. Probably. And I'm kind of starting to like James more, but Jury is still out. So let's just get into it. I'm excited to see what is gonna happen. This time. Okay. And each other. Ow. Ah. He's gone, General. Oh, Kara didn't get kidnapped. Yay, now kidnapping Kara. She's back. She's up. Tomorrow. Oh, and Cora doesn't know that spot. John John is, sure ready, is, is, okay? is space dad. She doesn't know about John. She still thinks he's Hank Henshaw, the guy who killed Jeremiah. You two seem pretty chummy. That whoever did this simply wanted to embarrass you. Yeah. <laughs> Those evidence. Mission equal to die of boredom. I do respect Miss Grant. <laughs> You are the very public face of Catco. The entire company. I love how she has like incident. a thing Don't for ice it and it's full of M and M's. <sighs> Poor cat. It's awful. I am sure this is all going to blow over, Miss Grant. What planet are you from? This um, one. <laughs> this one. Nothing more. Because you're with Lucy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is awkward. I feel that awkwardness. You die, she dies, and I always keep my promise, wife. I'm intrigued by Astra, because she's obviously not like a sociopath or anything, because she has very visceral emotions. It's very very visceral emotion so she's not like a sociopath i want to know more i want to learn more holding on to nothing it's, it's gone oceans have changed and the weather i'm trying to get people to stop and see what they're doing was she like a kryptonian eco-terrorist so had to do sleeve. Like, was well, she like a Kryptonian eco terrorist? I couldn't love a daughter more than if Rob had granted me a child of my own. I, I'm having the feels right now, guys. And there are 317 emails referring to Lois Lane as, uh. Oh, please. I call her that to her face <laughs> and worse. So, I love the, like, nitpicking it? between mm -hmm. Lois Lane. Well, if that is the worst, people might be. Like, I love the nitpicking between the Lois and Kat. I love it. The board has to understand that people get hacked. <clears throat> About that one email. The one where you said I was the walking personification of white male privilege? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, obviously, you're more of an ally than I thought. Maybe you could take a sabbatical, put some distance between you and the company. My company, you mean? I don't think at this point. Okay, this guy's not necessary. backing Cat for no reason. I mean, if there is a smoking gun, the press has yet to find it. Maybe they never will. No, I. He's uh, the one that leaked everything. Cat's judgment. Besides, if. Uh, well, if things get too hot, I'm sure that you'll be the first one to step away, right? Kat? He's the one that leaked Absolutely. it. That's why he's so cavalier, because he's going to blackmail her. Good. Delish. The whole board is trying to get Cat out. Why? I mean, why? Oh, that's not good. 
That's, that's, that's very destructive. Get, get away from the city, Kara. Get, get away from the city, Kara. People gonna get hurt. Let's, let's not have people getting hurt with your familial grudge match. She can't do it. She can't do it. There you go, puppy. You're not a killer. You'll beat the shit out of her, though. We got some corporate espionage going on this episode. James is only gonna have approximately 90s corner. Smooth operator, James. Wow, okay. Everything okay? He hand he handled Astra's that. awake. I told you I don't care. She said she'll only talk to you. He handled that fairly well. A little too well, but. I'm not programmed to give you that information. Tell me! I'm sorry. I am not programmed to give you that information. You let everyone that I love die. You left me. You left me alone. You sent me away. How could you do that? I am not programmed to give you that information. <laughs> the fucking cray. Hey, hey, hey. It's not really her. She lied to me. Your mom. Like, you don't know what happened then. Only what Astra is telling you now. I know that Astra and I were both given life sentences by my mother. We didn't have a choice. I'm gonna fucking cry. <sighs> I am not going to cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. That we would be in each other's lives. So what happened? Did you just send him off? No, I did not just send him off. You have no idea what that moment is this like. This is a great parallel for Kara right now. When you have to say to yourself, maybe my child would be better off without me. <sighs> oh, emotions. Exit. Oh. No, Kat, you can't. This is like, I'm getting real emotional, guys. Shall we? And here comes Wynn to save the day. Wynn and Lucy to save the day! What are you guys doing here? Lois Lane's kid's sister? Yeah. Well, congratulations, you got the looks. <laughs> you launched this investigation of Dirk because... Be because Astra beats Carr twice, and then she loses spectacularly. Something's off. And I can't read Astra's mind to find out why. Life? The Kryptonians are impervious to my telepathy, which Superman <laughs> finds hilarious. You can read minds. Another day, Alex. <laughs> Alex's like, okay. Um, okay, Space Dad. Wait a minute. Look. To stop what's happening. What's right happening now? right now? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are they... Oh god. What are they gonna steal? Oh no. Oh no. Shows up. Another yeah, of course, duh. And let's not forget that you took it personally when I named her Supergirl. She's short for. for political reasons. Do nope. me a favor and take <laughs> off your glasses. I can't see without them. My glasses. I can't be blind without them. I doubt that. If you're not who I think you are, what does it matter? He's grand. I have glasses or I take it as a confirmation. Oh, shit. saying thank you for all the help that you've given me. Supergirl. Excuse me. I have to... No, 
I'm sure it's very important. You should go. Alex, we have a huge problem. Lord Technologies is under attack. But see, they have the little kryptonite thingies, so I guarantee you they probably have kryptonite on them to war against. Okay, why does he have a gun that specifically takes out... What do you know? Bullets ain't gonna hurt them! Come on, guys! Been through this! Really, seriously, they're just like super girl. It, 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 it's not the bullets. Do you pow 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 pow? Not gonna work. Shoot the little thingy. Shoot the thingy. Shoot the thingy. Do you remember me, little girl? You're non Astra's husband. To think that you're the last daughter Shoot of the, the once great house of now. Shoot the thingy. Their, their whole kryptonite like repellent suit belt things like seriously all supergirls gotta go pew just like laser me just laser vision the little glowing blue target and boom susceptible to kryptonite again it's really not that hard i'm very interested in the astra storyline like was she essentially like a kryptonian eco-terrorist like she was basically like you're destroying the planet and it's gonna kill us all so i will do what i have to do to stop you from killing us all that's what it sounds like to me. But it makes me wonder if Astra really could have saved Krypton. We'll see how that goes. I feel like there's going to be lots of emotions coming down the pipe. I'm not even halfway through the season yet. Damn. Oh, God. And everything with Kat and how it paralleled to Kara's situation about feeling abandoned by her mom and just... I got real emotional there at the end of the episode. They're, they're, they're doing that part of the episode. And Kat figuring out that Kara is Supergirl. I mean, obviously she's going to find a way around it. I don't know how. But. And I mean, that's. Honestly. Kat figuring it out is not a huge deal. Because Kat would never reveal that Kara is Supergirl. She understands the importance of a secret identity. I mean, she's she's a superhero. She has a lot of enemies. A lot of really powerful enemies that could hurt the people close to her. That could hurt her. You know, so she understands. I mean, she's she is a, a, a media mogul. She's like, what happened right here? What happened in the episode where she got hacked? And, and all of these things just, just wanted to just tear her personal life apart. All because she is cat grant you know and she had to stop being cat grant to protect her son or she was going to before they found out that the guy hacked her and everything and so she understands the importance of ambiguity the importance of being anonymous where she can have that kind of that that getaway where she doesn't always have to be Supergirl. She can just be Cara Danvers. But the problem is, for those, of those, for those people in her life who know her as just Cara Danvers, if it's found out that Cara Danvers is Supergirl, it puts those people in immense amounts of risk because Supergirl has enemies that Cara Danvers doesn't. So, I think, Cara, I think, I think Kat would understand that. You know? So I, I don't see why it's a bad thing. 
I mean, I guarantee you that her, that, that Kara and Alex and, and, and John are going to figure out some way to salvage it. But except they don't, I don't see that as a bad thing. I really don't. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.